are your tomato plant leaves turning black, but you're not growing a black, blue, or purple colored tomato? I'm pretty sure I know why. Let's talk about it. Oh, and if you find that this video is helpful for you, please subscribe. Your support paves the way to success for my channel and it is greatly appreciated. Now, why are my tomato leaves turning black? When a tomato plant turns black, especially when the tomato leaves have black edges or the entirety of the leaves are black, it usually points to a phosphorus deficiency. Don't reach for the fertilizer just yet though. Much like blossom end rot from calcium deficiency, symptoms of a phosphorus deficiency doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't enough phosphorus in the soil. Tomato plant phosphorus deficiency is usually a result of the tomato plant being unable to uptake phosphorus from the soil, rather than a lack of available phosphorus. If you have a black tomato plant that seemed to change color in the blink of an eye, I'd take a moment to look back on recent weather patterns. Saturated soil can prevent tomato plants from taking up the phosphorus that they require from the soil. The tomato plant with black leaves that you see in this video was transplanted into a recessed row and we wound up having several, several inches of rain shortly after. I'm talking six to eight inches over the course of a weekend. While the plant showed clear signs of phosphorus deficiency, I knew that was impossible. The plant looked fine at transplant and I had placed a busted egg beneath it, which is actually rich in phosphorus. After the massive amount of rainfall, this one single tomato plant turned black. None of my other varieties had black leaf edges, telling me that this particular variety seemed susceptible to phosphorus deficiency due to saturated soil. Kind of like how some tomato varieties are prone to blossom end rot. There wasn't a gradual change in color either, which would be more characteristic of dwindling available phosphorus. Now the most important question, how did I fix it? I didn't. The plant simply needed to dry out. We don't get that much rain at one time generally, and if we do, it's only once a year or so. If you're watering your garden daily and you see this, you should withhold water for a while. Test soil moisture an inch below the surface of the soil before watering. It can be easy to overwater a garden. For me, since I don't water, I was focused on moisture retention and capturing rainfall as we have had some rough drought conditions in the last few years. That clearly backfired during this wet spring. If watering isn't the problem, then I definitely recommend reaching for the fertilizer. Bone meal is an excellent source of phosphorus, or you could opt for a fertilizer that is specially blended for roots and blooms. Specialty tomato fertilizers are great as well. Dealing with a tomato plant nutrient deficiency can be a little complex at times because you have to consider their environment, the weather, soil composition, and other factors. Hopefully this video cleared up tomato phosphorus deficiencies and how to differentiate between waterlogging and true deficiency. Again, subscribe if you found this video helpful and thank you so much for visiting my channel.